Okay, this is Sam Saup reporting from what's the name of this village? Uh, Blankishers Road, Vordenville, Blankishers Road. Okay, um, I have just arrived from Canada and uh, I was driven here at the invitation of a good friend who is there in the shed they preparing a meal for us. So with me we have a good friend here who My resides name. in Miami and your name is? Baldeo Singh. Okay, and where were you born? I was born right here. And what is the name of this village? This is Vordenville. Okay, and how, lo how old is this village? Well, since I know myself, I'm here since 1945, okay. you know, so it's long before that, okay. I can tell you. Okay, so what you can tell me about this village, about the early, early period of time as a child? Okay, well, really, this place was belonged to the, uh, the people from from England. Okay. Uh, who you know they brought yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the English people brought people from but brought the Indians as cane cane walkers. Uh huh. And yeah, yeah really the black people came down here as slaves. Uh -huh. But during the forties in the nineteen forty World War. Yeah. The Moroccan came and finds this place. This place here used to be cocoa and coffee. Where you're st talking that about quarry. the Yeah, nobody uh, knows that, 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 that quarry. quarry. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that is the quarry there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that quarry? Uh, now, it's called, I think it's called National Quarry. Okay. It so, used to be Pit and Quarry at one time. And owned by whom? Well, I guess is it government? Scott right? William Scott. William Scott? William Scott. Okay, Scott. I'm, I'm not too sure because I'm not living here. It's 1969 I left this place. Okay, well, he could supplement your right. knowledge of this place. And there's name a few it? things I would like okay. to say about this place again. Yeah. Nobody knew this place was quarry, but 19, in the 1940s when the Moroccan came to Trinidad, they were looking for place to, uh, to build the roads and build a base down in you know, Shagoramas and stuff. Yeah. So they, they found, the geologists found this as a quarry. This used to be my father's. Uh, contract from the um, the uh, English. So he as a contractor, up. as a contractor, yeah. No, no. no, my my father was, you know, he used to give it contract, contract of the place. Half of the pro produce go to the to the owner, and then half of the produce you keep it. And that is then after it happens, so a lot of people own a lot of the properties. Okay, but that. apart from the quarrying, what did you have here? Cocoa, coffee, nutmegs, and. Avocados and all, those are what all things Bananas that have. And Bananas. Okay. And what is your name? Ken Ali, better known as Riley. Okay. Yes, so um, you, you were, born, were you born here? I born in Arima, but I grew up up here. Okay, you grew up here. Yeah. And can you tell me something of your early childhood here? And what you can recall about this place? Well, uh, it's the same as he did, uh, did uh, Daniel. Uh -huh. Same thing as he did, yes. I used to go to school from here. Okay. And straight to Arima and I see back and from. Okay. All the things what he told you, more or less it's the same thing because I said... Okay, you, you, you said that there were coffee and cocoa plantations, yes, but yes. how many? Can you name some of the... Plentiful because you, you have a state and the state have hundreds of acres. Okay, but can you name a few people then who were cultivating and cocoa well, yeah, and Paul coffee? Paul was one of the, the um, owner of the estate. Okay, he was right? one. Yeah. Then you have Ramdeen, uh -huh. who was one of the estate. Right? Okay. Then you have Samuel, which is this, um, his his father. Mm -hmm. He was one of the estate. Okay. Right. Then you have uh, you have um, how can yeah Ramotaro. Okay. That was one of them. Then you have Sankar. Mm -hmm. Right. Then you have um, what you call the next one they call Sankar. Then you have um, what you call the fellow name um, Sinat. Okay. Yeah. Those were the people who owned the cocoa. Only land, only but land. Um, where did they get their workers from? Well, from in the same area around here, people come as I say, barracks. They were barracks. They were barracks. But where were those barracks situated? The barracks so was only five miles. Palto had most of the barracks. Then you have um, not this boy here. You have um, Ramdin. They had a, a barracks up inside it. Not very big. Okay. So we have workers used to so stay by them. Okay. Those workers came from where? For around the area, who live here because there's a but few people. But they were, they were housing the barracks for the purpose of yeah, yeah. Um, producing yeah, cocoa yeah. and coffee and so on, right? That's right. And um, my boys in them, they had a barracks. Right. Yes, the same thing, you know, that the, the property before it's used, 
to be owned by the English and then people who like like was overseeing self they get to own a lot of the property. Okay. So that um formally this place was owned by the British people. British, yeah. And then when they left, gradually the Indian people, the Indian from India, right. they were the people who took over and continued the cultivation. Right. And the, the British people had built the barracks that housed the, right. the workers, okay? Yes. And what did they do with this cocoa and coffee? Well, they um, sent it to the, what do you call it? Yeah, like some of the people who make the um, chocolate, Okay. That's up yeah. They buy the, co the, the coffee place that who, the grind, who grind the coffee, and they use it in that mix for like for incense. So Matnerg was also produced here. Yeah. Yes. Tonka beans too. Yeah. Yes. At the time, yeah. And what other things they could think of except cocoa coffee? Cocoa coffee. Citrus. Yeah, citrus. 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 Right. You have breadfruit. You 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 have zabuka, okay. avocado. Okay. Okay. So the mangoes and so on. Yeah. But those were produced on a commercial basis? Commercially, right? Yeah, well, at the time, long time, they wanted to do that, but now it is, yeah. Okay. But the mangoes and so on right. used to be um, given away and so right. on. Anybody yeah, could have. A long time. Now, I would like to find out something about the, the housing. Housing, the people, what sort of houses they lived in? Well, at the time, I could tell you, um, I left Trinidad in 19, 1969 and the housing itself was like in this area was supposed to be like a, a poor area and the people but then after when they found all this oil in the 70s they, they, Trinidad just... So where do you live now? In um, Florida. So you are here as a visitor? Yes. Well I hope you enjoy your... your, your, your. Your visit here. Okay, right. let me come back to you, uh, Mr. What is your name again? Ali, you can say that. Okay, yes. Yeah. Now, Mr. Ali, tell me something about the house and the structure of a house during that time. Built of what? Majority of the houses, more or less, some was wood and also galvanized. Galvanized? Uh, 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 thing. We have nothing like concrete or things like that. There was yeah. nothing like concrete and, nah, nah, and nah. there was nothing like um, uh, upstairs and downstairs nah, house. No, no, but no. where the people slept? On the floor or they had no, beds? Well, the barracks was like that when I say um, semi upstairs, huh? you know what Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I say semi upstairs. Okay. And then it, uh, on top is the cocoa house uh -huh. and in the bottom, right, they had uh, the, rooms and things like that. Yeah, but do, did they have beds then or yeah, bunks obviously or whatever? so, yeah. They had bed. Yeah. What okay. kind of bed? I don't know if it's wood or whatever. Well, it kind of okay. wood was not uh, Let's move on from the barrack setting. We are talking about individual houses, individual buildings. You said they were made of mud. Oh, yeah, mud, yeah, and mud. Wood and, so on. and you are speaking about what period? That's a quite a time. I, um, when I was 17 years, I came down here to live. I, I went down a river to live, 17 years, and okay. I was 67. So 17 years, mm -hmm. I'm so you're talking seven. about about the 1950s and so on, or yeah. the 40s and so on. Yeah, right, right. And then yeah. you have... I, I look, born 1948. Well, look at that palatial building there. Yeah, it's only a recent, um, a recent building. That but what was there before? Huh? What was orange, there? Orange, orange, oh, citrus. It citrus. was like a estate. Yeah, but was there a building there? No, there, there was never a building. So that, I'm seeing that this place is, this, the village was located in a valley. Yeah. Well, it is located Those in a people, valley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and this is the... Um, a uh, hilly area. What is the name of that hill here? Well, it's the hill by, I, I had to say before, Woodenville. Okay. The valley down is Woodenville and that was the hilly area. Okay, I'm right. looking at here now. And those people there. There was a quarry up there too, if you watch it. Where? Yeah, there's a quarry up there. But there's a quarry. Um, okay, some of the... the um... And in this area, we also have um, the, the whites. They come from away. To, right? There's, okay. there's a place they call Simla. Where? From where? Right. They used to come from away. And you are talking about be behind this um, behind this bamboo patch here? Yeah? No, no, no. You see, if you're already watching this area here, you see some kind of different up there. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. seeing yeah. That's a quarry. That's a quarry, right? That's a quarry, but that's yeah. abandoned now. No, it's working right now. The, the vehicle passing and going up there. That, you okay, can you okay. hear some making noise? Okay, okay. So that, what is similar? It's spoke about similar. Similar. Similar, um, it was a very big house at the time. The people who come from away, like the Americans and things, yeah. they used to come and what they call it, board here. They used to um, go and chase, see about the, the, the snakes and the whatnot. Birds. They were tourists. And oh, that tourists. Is, that yeah. was a tourist area then? Yeah. 
tourists. And it was known as Simla. And back there. Names, yeah. Uh -huh. There's a big tourist um, attraction. You have wonderful to how you want to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Right? Yeah. Other than that, there's a, a big up, place higher up, and it is 79 miles. So this is. Still go there, yeah. Okay, this is the west, right? This is the hilly area west. Okay? Um, no, this is I west. No, this is not here. But that's the west. west. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's west. It's a yeah. quarry. That is a quarry up there. Yeah. And above that quarry there, so yeah, you could go down a little higher, you'll see, make it a little better. Kind of demolish it because it was not that was there. They, they do all the... the, the um, well, that's a quarry now. What's the name of that quarry that, there? That is a um, um, national quarry. Oh, national quarry. Yeah. Oh, is it still active? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that is there. Still okay. And I'm seeing a river here. Yeah, the river is not too far from here. Is it here? No, not here. Okay. It's just if you're watching uh, in, down there, where the chair is there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Across there. You have a shot on shot time. Well, I remember coming here. I used to be... Um, I used to be the Justice of the Peace and the Clerk of the Peace. All right, peace. okay, okay. I'm in charge of, as the administrative head of, of um, Arima mm -hmm. Magistrates Court, which is about... Um, yeah. About three miles from here? Five miles. Um, three and a half, four, oh, three and a half miles from And we used to come, we used to hold court at Blanche Shed, which is in that. That's a good, like 23 miles from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes we'd stop off. Mm -hmm. There was a river there. And yeah. After work, we'll have a bath there, right, that right. river yeah, there yeah. by the shed. Mm -hmm. okay. And what, there's a church? I've seen a building. No, no, there. one time the people used to come here and go make the little folk and things like that. There. So they had a little shed. Right now, the river is still hot. So this is the road that leads to Blanche Shed. Yeah. Okay. Three miles. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. How many miles from here? Oh, three miles uh, here and from Arima, but it's um, 23 miles so from in, Arima. In this direction, in this direction, yeah. this is the road leading to Arima. Arima. Okay. And that is the the, the house that. Yeah, we... that's here. Okay. So you believe this village is still active? Um, it is still populated by yeah, the descendants of the, the, the people who... Is that, uh, yeah. So we are speaking about a while ago about a, a quarry that is now visible here. Yeah, yeah, that's the quarry. That's, that's still uh, operated. That is one of the quarry, or one out of three. Okay, that's there. Then we have a detour, a shop them about seven miles from here, they call it, um, right? And it's been? Nature Eye Center. Right, I remember visiting that as well. Right, right. That is? The seven miles, yeah. Okay. We're up on the seven mile coast. So you were born here, you were, this is the location where you were born? As I said, I was born in Arima as a baby. No, but you grew up in this house here? Yeah, yeah. In that, that house there? my yeah. lifetime is up spent here. So this is a church here, right? Yeah, this is in the church that I But I there is where, there is where you, um, actually grew up after having come here. Mm -hmm. Is it in that location? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I say, is it... Um, I grew up right in this area here. I wasn't too far from oh, up the road. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Right okay. in this area. No, I want to find out another thing. Um, right. Now, the population then, how many people had then? It had to be about, uh, let's say, about a hundred. A hundred people? Yeah. And I have about 20, 30 houses? Yeah. About okay. 20, 50, more, maybe. And you said um, a lot of people come outside and stay in the barracks to go for work purposes? Yeah. Okay. And do you know that lady there? That is Vinja. Oh. Who is? You know her? <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> you don't know her? Well, let's go and... Vinja, how did you reach here? I drive up with my car. And who came with you? A friend of ours from uh, Canada. Uh, what is his name? <laughs> Sam. Well, I must and thank you. I must thank you. You, you, you. Um, you are a very good driver. <laughs> Thanks. And you're very handsome. Handsome. I mean, sorry, sorry. Good, it's good. beautiful, right? Okay. You enjoying you, yourself? Well, surely. What about you? Yeah, yeah. Do you have anything to say again about this village? Not really. Okay. Well, it's nice talking to you. Yeah. And let's move on where the action is now. Yes. We are moving to where there is a 
This is um, a quarry, is it? Yeah. Quarry up there. No, no there. Look there. Oh. They look yeah. quite there. Yeah, There's yeah. three quarry here you have here. So that is one there. Yeah. We have this one and here. And then you have a next and one. And then we have a beautiful over. skyline there. Yeah. Beautiful nest. Besides this house here, there's the next house across there. Okay. okay. But, but that is um, one of the ne Neville. Do you know Mr. Um, Jokan? He had a bar there. Jokan, there was a bar. Yeah, yeah, no man. He I was know. my very good friend there. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, I think he died there. Yeah, he died there. Just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, I know him. He, lived, he used to live down where I was in my house. Yeah, I know he's talking about. He's a very good friend. Yeah, yeah. And this is a very. This place here is well kept. And it belongs, in fact, um, it belongs to my good friend there. Yeah. What, what's his name again? Um, um, Errol. Errol, and yeah. Julian. I know Errol is a young little guy. Uh -huh. Well, everything here is Julian and Julian and this. <laughs> hey, I'm um, Julian. Julian, Julian. So, Julian, this place belongs to you? Well, yes. Well, it's nice meeting you, and you're a very hospitable lady. And, and you have a very gorgeous um, flower garden. They're good to show us around. Come right ahead. Okay. Some of our plants here that we have to see you. Okay. But these plants are um, for sale, eh? Mm -hmm. How old are these plants? Oh, these plants are since December. So okay. Yeah, well, can you identify some of them? Um... Yeah, colored, colored leaves, those are curtains. Yeah. And this red leaves here, these are holly. Okay, curtains mm -hmm. and holly and that's all. Mm -hmm. So, you, this, uh, do you do the, this part of them as a, as a hobby? Oh, or? Well, this is actually my mom business. Okay, and these oh. are these are water containers. For no, these are for peppers. Okay, so you all produce pepper, hot pepper. Oh, yes. Hot pepper sauce, what for export? Uh, right now only in Trinidad. Okay. And this is um Vindra. Vindra is related to you? Yes, Vindra is my husband. Okay, Cousin. all right. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a pepper industry here also? Okay. And the factory is in within, huh? Okay, but how is it prospering? Very good. So you all um, um, supply where and whom? All Massey, True Value, plus a lot of different groceries, Minimat, parlors. And do you all um, um, export? Uh, not as yet, but a lot of people buy it to take away to friends and family. We had a, a little export in December to Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, okay, okay, you use FedEx as a fast um, mm -hmm. delivery service. Yeah. So where is your pepper factory? Can you show us? I don't have anything in the pepper factory right Okay, you now. don't have anything <laughs> now because for that, there is, um, um, okay, now it's a vacation, right? Yes, yes. And do you get, where do you get the supply of pepper? From the market, from the Koya market. We have a supplier there. Oh, supplier market. But do you get sufficient pepper to supply? Oh, yeah. But do you have sufficient pepper sauce to supply the market? No. <laughs> Why? One day time the pepper sauce finish. So we have to be making all of them. Okay, and you do have any employees? Yes, up? we do. How many? We have two. Okay. And me and Errol. Okay, that's good. All right. And I'm looking, at, I was passing around there and I saw a sort of um, a pool. Where you, yes, pool is that is an aquarium, is it? Is yeah. it an aquarium? Where you, where you, church. where you wear fishes? Outside. Oh, outside there. Okay, I must thank you very much, Dillian. Now let's take a picture of three of us here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. Right now I'm in a mess. That is Jillian. We are seeing Jillian. Jillian is there. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> and this is Vindra. Mm -hmm. Jillian, are you seeing yourself there? Mm -hmm. And who is this guy here? We don't know. Samson. Is it either? But it's good being here, children. Well, and, um, it's just uh, we'll, nice we'll, having you, yes. We'll check out those guys who are... Who is the chief cook? Mm -hmm. Boy. Boise. Boise. Uncle right Boise. 
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Do you know what he did today? Because you seem to be working seven day, eight days a week. The day? What's the day? Today's the twenty second. And the day. Saturday the sure, because you told me we are working eight days a week, so you know something. I thank you very much.